Well, hey friends, Pastor Kevin here. It is so good to see you once again. I have been looking forward to our time together. I look forward to being with you anytime, whether it's right here on video or we get to be together at the church. And I can't wait for us to get back together at the church so we can talk about Jesus and what he's doing for you and wants to do in you because Jesus is amazing. Hey, guess what? Pastor Kevin got a package today yes this came in the mail huh, i'm so excited it's for me it's got my name on it so guess what that means i get to open it because it's for me maybe we should wait hmm do you want to wait till next week to see what's in here no all right i'm glad you asked because i couldn't wait it says it's from lf incorporated hmm I don't know what it is. I, I don't remember ordering anything, and I don't know what LF Incorporated is. Uh, hmm. Well, let's just see. Huh. There's a hide a lie. Hide a lie? You ever heard of this stuff? Huh. It even came with some um, destructions. I mean, <laughs> instructions. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well, today we're going to be talking about telling lies and telling the truth. And let's see what this has to say to us. It says, Dear Kevin, I have a brand new product that I've sent you. Please give this product a try. As you read it, remove the cap from hide a lie and place your pointer finger, nose picker, on the trigger. Mm -hmm. After years of research, we have developed a spray that will hide any lie you tell. Hmm. I just happened to bring a lie with me. <laughs> this way. I brought a lie with me. Let's see what it does. It says to spray over that lie, okay? Uh, to recap, take hide a lie to school and if the teacher asks you if did you do your homework, simply say, my dog ate it. Hmm, that's an idea. And uh, let's see, what else does it say? Hide a lie is guaranteed to hide any kind of lie. If your parents ask you if you cleaned your room, you haven't, just spray hide a lie. And don't worry about it. If you see something at the store and you want it, just put it in your pocket and walk away. When asked if you stole it, spray and poof, it'll be gone. After our, after you try our product, we know you will simply love what it does. We hope you enjoy Hide a Lie. Sincerely, Lucy Fur. That's a weird name. Lucy Fur. I don't know. Well, um... I want to talk to you today about telling lies. I, it's a big temptation all of us tend to do. And the Bible has a lot of stories about people that told lies in their lifetime and the problems that it caused. Last week we talked about a guy by the name of Joshua. And we talked about Joshua for a few weeks here. His name means Jehovah is salvation. Jesus is our salvation. Jesus is the one that rescues us from the punishment of our sin. After Joshua and the children of Israel had marched around the walls of Jericho six days, one time a day, and then on the seventh day, seven times, and at the end, they hadn't said anything, and all of a sudden, they're told to shout, and they blow the trumpets, and the walls come tumbling down. Exciting story. Great story. I love the story. And remember, Rahab was rescued because she had helped the spies, and she believed in the one true God. Well, one of the men did something that he was told not to do. Before Joshua and the Israelites went in to take everything that God told them to take, God said, do not take anything for yourself. When we go in and we raid this city, don't take anything for yourself. What did he do? Well, Achan stole some a beautiful robe. He stole some silver and gold. Then he went back to his tent and he buried it inside of his tent. Have you done something and you knew you shouldn't do it and then you try to cover it up so that no one would find out? That's what Achan was doing. Disobeying our parents, or in the case of Achan, disobeying God is sin. 
Sin is anything we say, do, or think that goes against what God's Word says. And Achan did that. Sin always causes trouble for you, causes trouble in my own life when I do it, but sin also causes trouble for those around us. Our sins don't just hurt us, they hurt everybody around us. Our parents are hurt when we lie to them because it breaks their trust in us. God is hurt because we have done and gone against what his word says. Joshua had some men go in and spy out the land to make sure they were going to be able to conquer the land. And they came back and they gave a great report and says, hey, we can do it. We can have the victory. God will give us the victory. But when the battle happens at Ai, the Israelites are being defeated. And they come back and a lot of them are hurt. So Joshua does the only thing that Joshua knows what to do, and it's something that you and I can do. Joshua goes and starts to talk to God. And he asks God, why did we lose this battle? God began to show him because there was sin inside of their camp. God showed Joshua who it was too. So God even told him, this is what I want you to do to figure out who it is. And we read in the Bible in Joshua chapter 7, starting at verse 11. Israel had sinned, has sinned and broken my covenant, God said. They have stolen some of the things that I commanded must be set apart for me. And they have not only stolen them, but they have lied about it and hidden the things among their own belongings. This is why the Israelites are running from their enemies in defeat. For now, Israel itself has been set apart for destruction. I will not remain with you any longer unless you destroy the things among you that were set apart for destructions. Get up. Command the people to purify themselves in preparation for tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. Hidden among you, O Israel, are the things set apart for the Lord. You will never defeat your enemies until you remove these things from among you. In the morning you must present yourselves by tribes, and the Lord will point out the tribe to which the guilty man belongs. The tribe must come forward with its clan, and the Lord will point out the guilty clan. That clan will then come forever, and the Lord will point out the guilty family. Finally, each member of the guilty family must come forward one by one. The one who has stolen what was set apart for destruction will find himself and be burned with fire along with everything that he has for he has broken the covenant of the Lord and has done a horrible thing in Israel God didn't just tell Israel to find one the one who had done it he said this one must be punished Joshua was obedient to God and Achan was found out his sin was made public everyone everyone knew about it and and, and everyone realized that he was the cause of them losing the battle it was all his fault he had disobeyed God and God's instructions. Achan admitted he had done wrong. Uh, he, 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 um, and we see these this events in the Bible. And what we see is that his sin affected everybody around him. It affected the rest of the Israelites that were trying to fight in the battle. They were hurt. Maybe they lost their life trying to fight. But it also affected his own personal family. Because Achan's children and everything that he owned, they were stoned to death and then they were burned with fire. They all suffered because of one person's disobedience. Later when the Israelites go to battle, God gives them the victory. Achan could have had God's blessing if only he would have obeyed God. Remember, our sins affect more than just us. They affect everybody around us. So this Heidelai, a wonder... Does it? It doesn't work. Are you surprised? Anything from Lucy Fur? Come on. Uh, we can see Heidelite doesn't work. And um, we're not going to get away with what we've done. When we are tempted to do wrong, there are consequences for what the choices that we make. And we need to thank God for his power that he gives us that we will do what is right. Achan could have had God's blessing if only he had obeyed God. Remember, our sins affect more than just ourselves. So it's important that we make the right choice and do what is right. Hide a lie is a joke. It won't work. And when you look at the ingredients, made with hairspray. <laughs> no wonder it doesn't work. So friends, don't try to lie. 
God sees what you've done, and your sins will be found out. We need to do the right thing and the things that please God. My friends, I can't wait to see you again. God bless you, and Pastor Kevin loves you a bunch.